Namaskaram and welcome back. We are incredibly happy to host the first interview of this season with noted gurus Shri Jairaj Krishnan and Srimati Jai Shri Jairaj Krishnan who are amongst the leading veena players in the Carnatic tradition. Actually, um, we started off with vocal in our school uh, that we went to in Calcutta, um, which is called Shri Guru Golaganak. And our uh, gurus belong to the direct Shishya Parampara of Muta Swami Dikshita. And that is how we also belong to that Parampara. It's like ripening of a fruit. You think you know it all. But you keep at it, you keep at it. Then you understand, oh, how did I miss this? How did I miss that? Those are the small, small things which embellishes your music. It comes only through practice. And we used to practice for 8 to 10 hours in a day. When we were asking about the childhood thing, we remember we used to have power cuts in Calcutta. So we, we used to actually finish our homework, finish our playing, everything with friends and all. And in the evening when, they, when there would be no power, just candles, we all three sisters, all three of us used to learn music. So three of us would just sit and practice, sing, play, that's it. After Chennai in India, which is your favorite place to be? Uh, my favorite is honestly New York. At least in New York, I probably knew every street, by street, lane. So wow. in Indian Avenue, if you really ask me which are the Indian uh, restaurants, I could probably deal those names out. We spent yeah. probably about six months in Miami. Probably the whole, practically greater part of the world, including mm -hmm. some places like Taipei and others. <laughs> Not many people have gone. Wow. Australia, again, Sydney is like a very good favorite place of mine. I really love Sydney. Again, I know probably most of the lion leans and violins of Sydney and how it works. You should write a guide's book, sir. <laughs> and I'm, I'm getting this done. I, can write I, can I know you have your own Bindi sense also, right? Yes. Yeah, that's a page on Instagram. I know about your Veena JJ app. So could you tell us how you started it and where where you see it going? See, the Veena JJ app, I'll tell you how it all started. We, again, we never had a plan to do that, but it just started. People started telling us, why don't you share what you know and what are the ways of sharing what you know? Why don't you do this? So we thought, why not the, uh, you know, the electronic media, why not the virtual way of, you know, going and meeting people? And people used to send this recording to us. And when I'm traveling, I would love to listen to this and things like that. So we thought, okay, I know it was a gradual progression towards the app. So we thought, okay, set the app up and we start pushing things in the app. So it will help people to listen to whatever they would want to listen. And different probably stakeholders to that. One is people who really want to just listen, enjoy. Some people who want to listen and learn. Right. You know, so like, have different ways. One of, of my friends had mentioned to you, as she said, uh, there are a lot of women now who are in their family life who've learned Veena before, but then they're not able right. to stay in touch because they can't just go back. So this app makes a big difference for them to be giving them yes. to yeah, get back absolutely. to their roots uh, in playing the There are others too who have been doing this. But we have our own niche because we have some specifics to deal with. And, uh, and you know, it, it takes a lot of effort to get this app up and running. Um, see, even if you need to say that, it's easy to say, you know, it's available in Android and Apple. Mm -hmm. but we need to pay a hefty sum to Apple to I keep know. this it's, every year. It's, it's very hard, sir, to make quality. Yeah. Num number two, you know, the recording has to be perfect. So each recording of ours takes maybe about six, seven grand. So that takes time. All of that takes and a little bit of money, effort, financial and physical efforts are there. So we would want it to be faster than what it is. But, you know, there are certain things that bind us down a little bit. 
but anyway, I mean, it, it's happening. No, but so, I think charging a small amount, like for example, that plays to a larger thing also, sir. Like paying for the arts is something that uh, came up sometime. Yeah, before. absolutely. Yeah. See, to make, as I said, it takes so much of time and effort and financial constraints to do this. Uh, so we were, also we are still in the process of looking out some good sponsors, but we want to ensure that we and the sponsors are on the same plane. That is true. That's very important. I don't know if you're aware, we have this project ongoing where we're recording thousand Carnatic compositions and the major chunk of that will of course be the composition of the Dikshita because we belong to the Shishya Parapara. Right, and right. We've been handed over a fair bit. Um, and the, and hundred Raga Alapanas because Raga Alapana exposition is the mainstay of our music is what we keep. True, very true, very true. The ragas are what um, classical music is all about, right? Very so, true. and particularly when it is played on the Veena, mm -hmm. you are able to elucidate all the gamakas perfectly. Perfectly, right. So that is why we have this. Uh, it's an ongoing project. We'd like as. So uh, how has this been? Ex how did this idea come up? And how has the, the experience been personally between the two? How did this idea start up? What was this spark? And how is it so far? See, the spark, as I said, came up more because of one. We want to reach out to more people because people started asking us, why don't you reach out to us? And we felt this is one good way of reaching out. See, the other thing is. As Jayashi was talking about the Raga Alapana, you know, there, there is a certain, you know, as days go by, you know, it's basically a Raga, it's, it's, it's a very, uh, you know, it's a concept, it's not something that you can just go by the scales. Uh -huh. You need flavor of the Raga, there is a certain grammar which needs to come in. It's like writing a good essay, you know. Mm. So you write an essay, so you need to be within the topic, you need to you have a certain, uh, you know, boundaries within which you need to write, but you need to have, be innovative within those boundaries. Within the boundaries, right. You need to have your grammar, you need to have your ideas coming forth, there has to be a storyline. Right. Okay, you have an introduction, you have the main body, then you have a conclusion, then at the end of the day, if you read my essay, you must know what it was all about. So you exactly. Should be what did I read? So all of that, the, this, this example was given to me by my guru, so that's why I'm so... so you should please share it, sir, definitely. Yeah, so that's how you probably present your, you know, ragam. And there is a methodology with which you approach that, and each ragam has got its flavor. So it's a question of how well you come up with your Our sir used to use cooking as a very good example. So he used to say, rasam has its own flavor, a sambar has its own flavor. So you must know how to give when what. Correct. Very true. So Very that's true. a sort of a thing that I mean, we... This analogy everybody can understand. So, <laughs> yeah. so that's something that is there in our mind for quite some time. And we do see, honestly, people pushing the boundaries. Probably being, again, as Jayashi said, old school, we find it a little difficult to accept that. Okay. okay. We feel it's not necessary to push the boundaries. There is enough boundaries that you can work on. Okay. There is so much. What are you saying? There's so much inside. You don't have to always step outside to for it. Absolutely. Makes sense, right? So there are certain small, small things which are those tips that we used to get, which is something that we thought we could to people. Uh, very uh, nicely said, sir. Yeah, see, this, so, this act is our tribute, small tribute to our gurus. They have been so generous in imparting knowledge to us. The least that we can do is to share whatever whatever little we have imbibed. From that is them. such a beautiful thought process, ma'am, because I know sometimes there are some parents and um, students who have the interest to reach forward, but their gurus either don't have the knowledge enough to share or they don't want to share, simply put. They're like, they just pay me monthly fees. Why should I go forward and do so much? So that's beautiful, ma'am. But coming back to something that uh, I felt you gestured um, very beautifully, uh, I, I would like to say that your um, your thought process is not like, oh, I will not change uh, this old. But what, what, you're going to, what you're trying to do with this project that you have is, do you know everything that is already there for you to experiment with and push 
rather than just easily stepping out and saying, oh, you know what, let me create something that is not exactly this. I think um, this project of yours is going to make headwaves because a lot of students might not know so much exists already. They, they don't know that this is happening, so they might just look out for it outside. So that might be the only option they have. So Surprisingly, Purnima, this Thursday Tanum that we have in the Facebook now, right. the number of youngsters who have come back to us talking about it and thinking about it and, you know, right. understanding about it. My own niece has come back to me. She stays in the U.S. She comes to me every day talking, what is this, what is that? The amount of interest that they demonstrate is truly overwhelming. Actually, for me too, sir, I, I am not a music student as such. Like, I know a little bit of my basics, but your uh, everyday, th- I mean, every week Thursday Tanams have been my hands down favorite. Like, we as a family okay. come to know so much about the beauty of music, literally. Like, you know, it's just, you don't have to sing. You don't have to play the arena. Just experiencing that music made as a family. We've come together so much. And I've sh- had the pleasure of sharing it with so many of my friends. I think... Um, so nice of you, Purnima. So nice of you. Both of you. So nice of you. <laughs> so that's the reason why we wanted to reach out to more people. And as you know, as we said, let the content be traditional, but let the way of teaching out. See, those days people would not teach. Ah, true. Very true. They were afraid. They would not teach because not because they were very, you know, selfish. They were afraid that the true, you know, essence would okay. get lost and diluted. Ooh, okay. They used to be very careful to whom they would. And the other thing is that if you really look at the older form of teaching, there was never this thing of sitting and teaching for one hour or two hours. It was a lifelong effort. The teacher would sing, you know, the student would be washing the clothes and he would hear his sister and then he would sing. That's the way it started. That's, okay, but that's true. I think that's how you maintain with your students because every time Absolutely. I students, they were telling me about how their life, literally it's very rare that you sit and teach. It's about life. You bring your students in. Absolutely. Absolutely. See, it has to be a part of your life. So today it's not possible to sit in the guru's house for maybe eight hours or seven hours. You have enough things to do. Though I can tell you, if you come to our house during those non-COVID days, I know, I know. In a doctor's chamber, there will be at least 20, 25 people. Wow. We have a two flat, eight bedroom house. We don't have a place for ourselves. It will be free. <laughs> Ma, so I've heard doing so much about doing something. We enjoy that. So, you know, mm-hmm. that's the thing. But this app would probably help if somebody is driving, somebody is going to college, somebody is going to school. You can probably listen. Listen, definitely. And makes it... That's the way we are looking at it. We'd still like to know, actually, if people have suggestions in what they want. Absolutely. I think that's a great idea, ma'am. But now that sir told me how there are always students in your house, ma'am, I'm also going to request officially that you should give us your E.A. Chumba Rasam recipe. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> hit. And I also need uh, we, I, I, you should definitely uh, help us with giving this recipe, ma'am, sometime later. Oh, definitely. Oh, yes. How did you talk about this? Oh, ma'am, we, we do our research. Trust me. Oh, my God. <laughs> a for the record that every it's single student. Kids, you know, it's real fun to be with the kids. And we ourselves grow because of that. And, you know, it's not that you know, they are any less than us. The type of insights that they bring, it at many times opens our minds to new ways of doing things. True, very true. Very true. So one needs to be... We grow through you and you are able oh, yeah. Absolutely, we do. Yeah. We, we absolutely do. In fact, I have a student of ours who used to be in Chennai before now she has moved out to Calcutta. Mm-hmm. So she would come and after the class she would come and say, Uncle, you know what? I have a business idea. Okay. So, she will have one business idea. <laughs> so, you know, that's the way these kids, you know, interact with us. So, we, we really enjoyed our, uh, you know, time with the kids. It's been great. That's amazing. So, it's so nice to see such connected gurus to their students. I think that's that's the difference between just knowing something and learning it. I, amazing, sir. 
Thank you so much. We are going to, uh, I'm going to uh, ask you uh, to play a small game with us. Uh, yeah, sure. And uh, I'm going to, uh, it's a very simple thing. The rules, uh, there's no specific rules for this. It's going to be a slideshow where I want to put together some pictures. And it's like Pictionary. You actually just see the uh, pictures and then you have to figure out what the name of the ragam is. And then it's a personal thing. Maybe you can sing some small uh, bit of that <laughs> if you feel like it. Sure. So uh, I hope you're excited for this because we... Yeah, absolutely. Oh, sounds good. <laughs> this is the first one, ma'am. Who would like to go first? Jayshree. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought it was a joint thing. Uh, we'll go one by one, so that'll be more fun. The first one, ma'am. Arabia. Uh, or, uh, uh, Arabi. Correct, ma'am. You are right. Absolutely. <laughs> Can you sing a small um, um, rather based on Arabi? Any town, anything, ma'am? What do you feel? Any part, anything? Shri Saraswati Namastute. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay, next one. You have to go from this side, sir. From, uh, okay. Uh, it's a little hard, I have told you to this. Ani. That's a pencil or? Uh, That's Ani, Ani. Okay. Uh, sand on the. Tell me, Tamil Dasa, these words you kind of have to stick, stick to the Tamil part. Okay. Ani. So, Kal. Kalyani. Kalyani, huh? Kalyani. I'm not cheap for the girls. Kalyani, correct. Where are some of the Kalyani? Looks like something combined. What is the answer for this? Yeah, Yar Saramari, Man Kalyani. Okay. Krishna Nye Begane Baro Krishna Nye Begane Baro Krishna Nye Begane Thank you so much, sir. It's such a Krishna Jayanti ki karakta you sang. Yeah. So, okay, let's move on. Ma, your turn again. Okay. Amma, sorry. The person, ma, for you. Sorry, Amma. Uh, Lame Tamil. Uh, ah. Tamil. Tamil. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So, uh, uh, can you say a few words about her or anything that you feel about her? Oh, if we have to talk about this doyen, it has to be Nishidhar Prithis. Thank you. you know, the way that uh, uh, Patama Mami used to sing Nishidhar Prithis. It hasn't been handled that way by anyone, any other vocalist. 
before or after her. She has yeah. magic, true, man. Very true. Especially the Nayaki, Ranga Nayakam. See, one of the things that if you really think of BK Patamar Ma, one thing that really comes to my mind is a gentle giant. Very true. Very, very beautifully put, sir. Very Extraordinary true. person. Very, very friendly. Very down to earth. But at the same time, one of the true doyans. True, very true. I think very I to get to doesn't like, feel this way like about Yes, true. absolutely. Absolutely. There is a certain divinity about Sufi Amma which you cannot uh, express. Hmm. Just, uh, These are the something. kind of people whom you can see. You don't need to step out to make, to be the... Correct. Person. Correct. Right? Inspirational people. True. Very true. Okay. Next one. Sir, for Kondana. you. Again, it's Kondana. a question. Kondana. இன்னொரு anything. Two 
Jesus, my son. The wonderful truth in this, one of our favorites, and other than the Charna O Rudaram Shiva Chisamukaram Yendre Shonda Kodume. I and the charanam, that part of it, you know, they will feel it from their heart. So it says that it is just say the word Shiva once and it is done in your life. Right. So they will feel it actually. Wow, that's such a nice thing to know, sir. So, so we know like, like on the, the part, correct, correct. Thank you so much. Okay, um, I have one last game for you. I, I yeah. you after that. Uh, yeah. This is very simple, sir. I'll give you one minute per person. That's what you said about the other one too. I know. I have, but I want to still trouble you for one more game. So, yeah, I know this is so much fun to play with. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> I'm just feeling it. <laughs> This is a very simple game. Uh, we have exactly, uh, we're going to keep uh, one minute on the clock. <coughs> Few questions. Totally random. I know music, you both are, uh, you know, there and everybody knows you as musicians. But we also want to know you as, uh, you know, uh, your day-to-day learning and along with the personal uh, water choices. We want to know all those things. So I want to ask you very simple questions. You have each one minute to answer it quickly. You should not take too much. You should answer okay. quickly. That's the only condition. Uh, yes? Okay. Uh, who wants to go first? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Ma'am, you have to know the sir pushes you in front every time. I know. I think you <laughs> No, the lady is first. No, no, you go first. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So let me put uh, one minute on the clock just to be um, fair and yeah. we'll start off. Is it going to be like a family feud where I'll get 20 seconds extra? <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not, ma'am? <laughs> I don't mind doing this for two minutes each also because anything we get no more is bonus for us. Okay. What's the best thing that has happened to you this month? Uh, I have been, uh, you know, working on something that I have been loving to do in terms of my professional work. Okay. So true. That's been great. Very nice. So if you could, if you could not teach music, what is the one subject you would teach otherwise, other than music? I'd be a cricketer. Wow. Okay. What's your favorite beverage? My favorite beverage? Coffee. All the time. Coffee. Okay. Not, coffee. coffee. not coffee. 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 Okay, very good. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie, Amar Akbar Anthony of Amitabh Bachchan. I'm a great fan. Really? Oh, wow. That's amazing. Okay, window or aisle seat? Window all the time. Window? Always. Yeah. 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 Ma'am, you get time, is it? Yeah, preferably aisle seat. I love to speak. That's the best place to use. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, we finished one minute, but I'm still going to ask you uh, one last question because this means to me, uh, what does creativity mean to you? What does? Creativity mean to you. Creativity, ability to innovate without much thinking. Ah, beautiful. Such a wonderfully put way, sir. Thank you so much for playing with us. Thank you. Ma'am, it is your turn now. Shall we start? Yeah, sure. Okay, the time starts now. What is your most favorite holiday place? Okay. New York children. Yeah. So quick, we have to answer fast, ma'am. Yeah, New York. Okay. okay. <laughs> if in your closet, if someone went and immediately took something out of your closet, what's the first thing they'll take out? Hindi. Okay. What in your purse? What's the uh, thing that you never travel without in your purse? Sunglasses. 
what is this something that you will not be doing at 10 years later acha there's nothing that i want to do 10 years later oh that's such a sweet answer ma'am okay so uh, what is your favorite dessert rasgulla okay do you watch english movies if yes which one favorite which is your favorite roman holiday wow okay so who is your most uh, which is your favorite um, venue performance venue uh, there are two gd birla sabagar and music academy perfect ma'am one way i think you answered more number of questions to me okay <laughs> you probably asked her one some questions less i do i asked her smaller questions to be fair <laughs> I, I asked you more appointment questions sir for her i was more girly with her so it's okay <laughs> thank you so much ma'am and sir being with us it means a lot oh our, our pleasure, pleasure. Absolutely. it's been we fun really it's been really been fun really thank really you so much for coming sir so so can you uh, can i ask if you have to say one thing from this interview that you would like to tell uh the our viewers who are listening and been with us through this interview what would you want to tell them what would you i would uh music is a way of life please embrace it see beautifully put when i was a small kid uh, there was this vainika called surya narayana mm-hmm. brilliant uh, maybe uh, you know uh, vainika from mysore mm mm-hmm. I normally do not take autographs mm-hmm. i normally don't and he was one gentleman whose autograph i needed and i went and took his autograph and he wrote something which has been with me all my life so he said keep discovering the music within you oh wow That's that cool. is something which i have held that was maybe when i was 9 or 10 year old perfect formative yes and that has always stood by me and you know that's something you know it has a much much bigger connotation than just music when you say discover the music with a new it's a sense of it's a semblance of you know that peace and tranquility that you need to discover within you when you may be facing problems True. it is a very very powerful statement to make and that's something that i would always tell people especially in this hard time right now um yes, absolutely it's a beautiful take away for us to have um um all thank you so much for being thank you podma sharing you. your journey with us and you know playing with us thank you so much sir thank you ma'am thank you so much um i can't uh, i'm hoping to see more of you um you know come back to our channel and present your um, your concert for us maybe sometime soon um thank you so much once again it will be a pleasure ponema thank you very much thank you for having us thank, thank you for having us wasn't that such a heartwarming and a real conversation with the gurus my personal favorite takeaway from this was how you don't always have to look outside for creativity and for inspiration right you actually can look inwards and i think as an artist that is very very important because if we only look outside we will lose ourselves and when we go inside we actually grow further what are your thoughts what did you learn through this interview please write it down in the comment section and we would love to hear from you and know what you were thinking if you have any questions please do write them down too and we will do our best to address them We will be putting the link for their Veena JJ app in the description, and we will also add details about their school. Thank you so much for staying with us for so long, for supporting us, for subscribing to our channel, and helping us do this work. If you have any further suggestions on who you would like to hear from, whom we could reach out to and bring to you, please do write to us, and we will definitely do our best. Once again thank you so much on behalf of the Sikshana series team and looking forward to seeing you soon again thank you